common struggle in payroll is that they have unforgiving deadlines where they need to get people who don't have time to spend the time to submit time cards, which have to be re-entered by payroll while they look in 10 different places to find the information they need to validate that the data is correct. And to make matters worse, construction is a VUCA environment where the complexities of labor are always changing and payroll has to keep up with all these changings while handling everything else. We fix that insane problem. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is jump right into payroll and HR reports because I want to say that I would challenge any subcontractor to challenge us with any of their reporting needs because we got everything handled. In fact, we have retroactive certified payroll reporting. So if you forget to indicate that it's a certified payroll at the beginning of the job, don't worry, we got you covered. Okay, now let's jump to the beginning. So I'm going to pick an employee here. And as you can see, we have everything you need on employees and subcontractors in one spot, including the setup information you need to automate payroll garnishments and even HR benefits enrollments. So I'll open up this menu just so you can see a little bit more. Now, remember, Plexus has a live connection between bidding field and finance. So if I look at the safety and experience for uh, information, for example, you may want some of this available to the field. So you can make that information available to the field. So this is the Foreman Super App. If I go to employees, you can decide on a Foreman by Foreman basis or a job by job basis, which information you want the field to see. Now, the information does flow both ways. So let's say you have a field worker walk on the job. So they walk on this top build job and they're working on floor one and they're brand new. They just walked on. You can complete a new employee profile on the app, cost time and the time card. However, this information comes in to payroll and that employee cannot be paid until payroll and HR complete the setup process for each employee. So what's cool about the app is that the PM accounting system drives the configuration. So every time you get a job, the foreman just have to turn on their app and they will see their jobs and each job will automatically configure in the app for them. And here's what I mean, or here's an example of that. If I change the floors from one to two, the cost codes will automatically convert to the job specific codes. If I go to a roofing job, you'll see roofing activity codes. If I see go to a concrete job or a landscaping job, you'll see the relevant activity codes uh, there. So they do not have to scroll through hundreds of cost codes to cost the time accurately. We do everything we can to minimize cost coding errors. Now to see this app operate in detail, I highly recommend you look at the super app videos. I'll give you some highlights right now. Here is where you can complete time cards by employee. If you have crews, you simply do it here and the foreman can add and remove members of a crew with great ease. They literally just come in here, they select their list and they can remove these two workers their time will go with them. It is a collaborative app. So when those two workers join another job, that foreman of the other job will see the time from this job. And if they want to add this person, it's easy. That is how easy it is for foreman to manage crew members. Now, moving forward, if you track the ins and outs, we have the roll call feature, which will enable you to have the foreman track the ins and outs or you can have the employees check in and check out using a pin or facial recognition. Again, go to the super app video to see it in, in detail. Now, if you have a supervisor um, approval process for your time cards, you have two options. You can do it in the PM accounting system or you could do it with the app. This is a iPad and Windows app, so you can use it on Windows devices um, or iPads. Now, supervisors would typically come to the weekly time card verification tool, and this is where they can look for anomalies. They can pick their jobs, pick the subsections, they can ask uh, questions to look for anomalies, such as show me everything with more than seven and a half hours, show me everything missing a day, show me all overtime, uh, or show me time and a half, show me by foreman, show me by job type or hour type, for example. 
So this is where they can complete their verification process, look for anomalies, and save payroll a significant amount of time of validation. So all the data that's entered in the app will come into the labor entry screen so payroll can see the, the entries themselves, any mobile notes that came in, uh, any reimbursement information. So this way, all the data entry is eliminated for payroll so they can focus on finding errors before they generate the time cards and remit payment. We are punches!